What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at Justin Herbert, uh, quarterback out of Oregon. Um, he's going to be entering the 2020 NFL Draft. He is a senior, so kind of has to at this point. He chose not to go out last year, which I kind of don't like that decision, but I'm not going to get into that, but whatever. Um, I'm going to go into some of his stats before we get into the film. Uh, close that. Um, let me go to see all real quick so we can see his rushing stats too. Stop it. No ads. Um, so for 2019, as you can see, he had 3,471 yards, 32 touchdowns, and 6 picks. His interceptions are down from last year, and his touchdowns are up. His yards are up. Um, so that's good, I guess. But his rushing stats are kind of down, but that's kind of whatever. He has some mobility, but most of his mobility is more buying time than it is uh, scrambling for yards, in my opinion, anyway. So here's what it is there. Let me uh, go ahead and get into the film. Um I'm not going to show a whole lot of film on this. We're just going to be looking at the Auburn game, but I have a decent number of plays I'm going to show you. I have them time-stamped on a notebook next to me. Oh, I didn't mean for it to play. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, this isn't a completed pass. But this does paint a decent picture. It shows a little bit of mobility. It shows that Oregon is comfortable getting him on the move. And then he fires this. And it's not accurate right there. But there wasn't a lot of separation. But that's kind of what you're going to get in the league a lot of times. But what I do want to highlight is that arm strength. Because that is a cannon right there. That that's, that's a good throw. There's a lot of quarterbacks in this class. Jake Fromm. If he comes out. That can't make that throw. He has a very strong arm. Not the best in the class, but one of the best. Um, but he, he, he does have his share of issues, though, as we'll get into later. Um, moving on to the next timestamp. Right here. This is going to highlight some of his mobility a little bit. Catch the end of the last, but there you go. That's fantastic. I mean, he, he fought for that. And, and that just shows that, like, his stats made it look like he wasn't athletic, but that is not the case. Justin Herbert is a pretty athletic quarterback. He's not like Lamar Jackson, but he can make some plays with his feet. The play broke down. He didn't have anywhere to throw it. It's third and goal. So... What's he do? He just he just takes off and runs. He pushes his way through and he gets himself a touchdown. Now, what he just did is also kind of a problem because it's the first quarter and he's exerting a lot. That's increasing injury risk, in my opinion. I'm not a big fan of that. Um, but at the same time, that, that's a, that's a good play. So, um, I think I actually missed one. Oops. Why did I write that? But th that does show pretty good arm strength right there, to be fair. But uh, let me move on to the next timestamp. Sorry about the phone in the background. But, uh, yeah. This is where some of the problems lie. As you can see, like, look at his head. Look at his eyes. This is something that is kind of good, but it's something that also needs to be improved on. You see how his head is kind of moving? That means he's actually reading the field. A lot of colleges don't let their quarterbacks do that, but he is reading the field. He just needs to do this faster. He does end up getting the completion, but that's a sack in the NFL nine times out of ten. He, he just needs to be able to read the field a little bit faster than that. But it is good that he is at least... He has read the field before. 
Because some colleges straight up don't let their quarterbacks do that, and it really annoys me. Okay. And right there is sort of where some of the problems lie with Justin Herbert. Is he has a decent arm, he's got some mobility, but his accuracy sometimes is not the best. Neither is in his decision making sometimes too. Cuz not only is that inaccurate, but he's got two defenders on him kind of. But it's really just the one, but that ugh, that just needs to be more accurate. If you're going to throw this ball, you need to throw this a little bit closer to the sideline and, you know, closer to the receiver where he can actually catch this ball. But that is where some of the problems lie because he is not consistent with his accuracy at all. Um, so that that is something to be concerned about and uh, going to definitely have to keep track of that as the process goes through. Okay, and get into the next play. That kind of right, that right there kind of shows you what he can do on the move and shows a little bit more of his athleticism. That's the type of mobility I'm talking about, is just buying time and throwing on the move. And he he, he hits his receiver right on the sideline. It's a fantastic throw. There's a lot of quarterbacks that can't do that when they're standing still. Um, I got one more play I'm going to show you. 443. Here we go. And this just shows evidence. And actually, the last play kind of works too. Showing evidence that he can throw into tight windows at times. Shows that he does have times of being accurate. Like right there. He just edges that in between the two defenders perfectly. That's a really good throw. It's an NFL throw right there. And that's really accurate. But he just doesn't do that consistently. His accuracy can really be a problem sometimes. But um, if he can work on that, then I, I think he can be a pretty good quarterback. Because his arm strength is good. His poise is good. Um, he can make any throw. He can. He has the arm to make any throw on the field. He just needs to clean up the accuracy. His feet look okay at times but they can be inconsistent i think if you can if you improve his feet and mechanics i think it would increase his accuracy a little bit um obviously he can make throws on the move as you've seen um his accuracy and decision making is to me what really needs to be cleaned up uh hopefully he can get some coaching in that direction hopefully he doesn't have to start right away but he's looking like he's probably gonna be the number three quarterback taken so i don't i don't know about that I don't know if he's going to have time. Um, you can do some QB runs with him, but don't overdo it because in the NFL, he's going to be a lot slower in comparison to his peers. Um, he he does look to throw when he's scrambling, which is good to me. Um, he's not usually looking to run. He is looking to pass when he's scrambling. He has shown evidence of being able to throw a touch. Um... In fact, m most of last year, because I actually did make a video about him in the past, and he he did throw a lot of touch passes, but he really didn't show off a lot of his arms sometimes, but he did that a lot this year. Uh, so he, he can do both. He just needs to clean up the accuracy, like I said. He, and even though he is mobile, he does seem comfortable in the pocket, which is really good as well. Um... I have heard rumors about his leadership being a problem. Of course, I don't know that. I've never even met the guy, of course. So it, it I, I can't speak on that. But I have heard that rumor that leadership is kind of a problem for him. But there's no way for me to actually know that for sure. Um, but it, it is something I've heard, so keep that in mind. Uh, I have seen him run some people over. In the past, and I am not a fan of quarterbacks doing that because it's just not worth the injury risk. It's really not. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate hitting that like button. 
If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.